الو الو السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام How are you fine? I'm Christian fine. Prince. What do you like to say to us, Mr. Mohamed? How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I did not hear you for a while. You are a uh, nice <laughs> mayor. I think you are so friendly. <laughs> it's all right, you know. The, the, the funny, you know Arabic, right? <laughs> you know Arabic, so yeah. you know you, you know who is right, who is wrong. So this is why you are laughing. <laughs> So, so Muhammad, what do you want to say to us? Tell me. Uh, yes, uh, I, I want to talk about this uh, matter with you. Talk with uh, nightmare in this word, nikah. Yes. Nikah. Yes. <coughs> what nikah mean? What do you think? Yes, it it, uh, it uh, linguistically in Arabic it means uh, what it's called in Arabic. Al-wat, what? Al-wat, what al-wat mean? That's, al that's good. What that means, means uh, practice. Uh, practice. Can can you mute? Uh, can you mute YouTube, uh, please, uh, Muhammad? Can you mute YouTube from your side, please, because I hear an echo coming back. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <coughs> yeah, practice it. Sexual intercourse. All right. So, guys, this is this is Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Mr. Muhammad is a Muslim. He is not a Christian. All right. But this guy is is a decent man. He is telling us that the word nukah or nikah is a, a, is a word mean al wata. We ask him what al wata mean. He said to practice sexual intercourse. That's wonderful. What else? This linguistically, but uh, what it called. Uh, Sharan, Sharan means this uh, sexual intercourse. Al wapu al agdu lahu, al agdu lahu. This al agdu lahu means marriage. All right. Contract, marriage contract. All right. Let, let me let me let me add something, and you tell me if I'm wrong. All right. Let me let me add something. Legally, Shara, you can have what to your slave too, correct? Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is not marriage. It is legal. It's, it's legal sex. So that's what you are trying to say. So it's not marriage necessarily because the word, the front, the verse in the front of us, the verse in the front of us, Muhammad, it says that it's legal for you to have sexual intercourse, nukah, with four women, those who do contract with them, or captive, those do not need contract because you own them already. Do you agree? No, 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 no. What do you mean? No, no. The verse in the front of you. It says, "Do nukah to two, yes, and three, verse, and four. The verse says, hmm. "Yeah." It's starting from the the verb for ankihu, marry, but hmm. marry. Hmm. And what, about, right? what about the slaves? Woman of your choice and the two, three, or four, but what about the slaves? Do you marry the slaves or you just have sex if with the slaves? You fear, if you fear <coughs> that you shall not be able to deal justly, the same the same verb, thank you, should be here. But to avoid repetition of the verb, Correct. thank you, Correct. The, 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 uh, the, the verb says, Correct. in spite of say, Correct. Marry one or or the slaves. So you don't marry or the or slaves. Or you don't. You, this. Yeah, you don't marry the slaves. You are going to do nukah to the slaves, but they are not your wives. So what does that mean? How you are no, going no. to do nukah to the slaves? Or you or whatever you own your hand, whatever you own. There's no number. There's no number. You can have as a 1,000. Whatever you own in your hand to possess. Whatever you own in your right hand possess. Correct? Whatever you own in your right hand possess. So the marriage is only for four. Do you agree? There's a limit. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Four, four, but, but, four. The, but the sleeping with the slaves, there is a limit? No. 
هو ما لا لا هو ما ملكت ايمانكم It says in front of you the same page, the same verse we are reading. Oh, oh, my friend. Okay, let me ask you which which interpretation which Muhammad. Then, then okay, okay, let us do this. Let us do this. There is a condition, a condition here. Hmm. If you fear that not to do justice, no problem. This is about money. What? Okay. What about the slaves now? It says here, oh, uh, my Malakat Aymanakum. To be repeat here, this is Focus the same verb. We don't want to repeat, Muhammad. We don't, wa we don't want to repeat. Ma yeah, Muhammad. We don't want to repeat again and again. What about the slaves? It says here, oh, my Malakat Aymanakum. Whatever you own in your right hand. What does that mean? You do nukah. You are the one who said the verse is not repeating the same word many times because it's not right. So nukah to two, three, four. And if you cannot be just to one and to whatever you own in your right hand possess whatever do you marry unlimited number of slaves no for, no. for, uh, for milk for yamin yeah it should be by marriage not uh, practice okay Anything which inter your... which interpretation my friend because muhammad which interpretation you like what interpretation you like me to show you for this verse what what uh, scholar you like who is before, your before before inter interpretation yeah Because there are two 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 verses in the Quran, giving giving a decision in this uh, this issue. Okay. Surah Al-Nisa, ayah arba ashrin, wal ma'ida ayah khamsa, wal mustanat min al-Nisa illa ma malakat ayman ukum kitab Allah alaik alaikum, wa uhilla lakum ma wara azalikum. My friend, the verse you uh, quote for me, the verse you quote for me. Right. My, friend, my, friend, my friend, the verse you quote for me. Oh, listen, should listen. marry right. and not practice illegal. My friend, the, the verse you gave me, the verse you gave me is about sleeping with married women. It is not lawful for you to have sex with married women except your slaves. This is what it, this is what it says. <laughs> you can have sex with married women who they are your slaves. You know, Except your my, slave. My friend, my friend. What okay, you should this do is why this, this, this is why I'm asking you. Okay, this is why I'm asking you. Why we don't go and see the verse's meaning? You know? Why we don't go and see the verse meaning? Because simply the, the, the verses you are quoting for me is speaking about that you can have sex with married women. Married women, you are not allowed to have sex no, with married women no, no. unless no. they are your captured. Listen, okay. What interpretation you like me to show you about the chapter four, verse number twenty-four? What is your favorite scholar to prove to you my what I'm saying? Oh, this, well, this, is, this is the women is, is women. My friend, before this. my friend, my friend, it says it's forbidden for you. It's forbidden for you. Yeah. Women who they are, muhsana. Illa, illa, except, which means it's not forbidden. Those who you are right hand possess. So you just gave me a verse to prove you wrong. Which interpretation? Yeah, like, you, you're Muhammad, right Muhammad. Hand you see, I, Muhammad, Muhammad, I, I, li I like you as a person. I like you as a person because... You are more that's fair that's than the rest of the Muslims. So why we don't be fair to each other? And I'm asking you nicely and friendly, which interpretation you approve, and we will read it together. If they agree with you, you are right. If they agree with me, I'm right. What do you think? Which which is color you like me to show you? Just name him for me. Uh, if uh, if uh, if the scholars themselves they are wrong. Oh, ah, that's that. You see, Muhammad, you are not being fair now, guys. Just look, listen, listen to Muhammad. Muhammad now claiming that all the scholars of Islam are wrong, and he is the only one is right. <laughs> I mean, come on, Muhammad, don't make me change my mind about you. You have to be fair. As long as oh, no, the Muslim no, scholars, no, no, Muhammad, no, as long all Muslim I, scholars I, I, understand I, the way I, I say it, you need to explain to me then why all Muslims, not only Muslim scholars, understand it the way I understand it. 
you see I'm not giving you my opinion I spend my life studying your books so now I know what you risk this is why I'm saying to you choose any one of for me anyone you want and you will see all of them agree with me and now because you know already and I can tell that they will agree with me not with you so you don't want the scholars why you don't no, want no, the scholars? no why why I say that why I say that because one of the basic basic of even these scholars okay. used to interpret okay, Muhammad, is the language Muhammad, Muhammad. the basic did Muhammad did Muhammad your prophet sleep with uh, Sophia before he married her did he this sleep is not with true. This is not true. what if I show you the reference right now this, this, this is not true because even uh, I think before my, my friend my before friend. Quran don't tell come, me don't tell me not true don't tell me not true what if I show you the reference from your books either you say yes show me or you don't tell me this is not true what do you say which book uh, you are talking about the Quran or the Sira uh, you know all the Quran is is the same what Sira I mean all all the news about Muhammad how you understand the Quran all, all how you understand the Quran? How you understand the Quran? You can understand the Quran from the Hadith, right? You can understand the Quran from the Quran. We, we yes, we can understand. My my the friend, Quran from the Hadith. You can understand but, the but Quran. When, okay. when say it's, say it's a clear a clear verse, you can interpret it linguistically, and there is a Hadith contradict. This verse, I think My friend, uh, there's no hadith contradict this verse. It says in the front of you, yeah, yeah Muhammad. Listen, don't waste my time, please. All the scholars agree with me against what you just said. That's mean, obviously, I'm right and you are wrong. And in order to avoid that, you say to me, in order to understand the, the, the verse, you know, we have to read it. Okay, the scholars did read it already. Now we can read it again. It says for you here. It is lawful for you. The following. Hurrimat alaykum. Verse number three. So he told you who are lawful, who is not lawful. If you go to verse number 23, it says forbidden for you. Your mothers, your daughters, your sisters, your auntie, your, your, the, 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 from your mom's side, from your father's side, the nieces, uh, the, 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 the daughters of the brother, the daughters of the, of the sister, uh, your mother from uh, breastfeeding. Uh, your brothers from uh, from breastfeeding your mothers from uh, the mothers of your 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 wives uh, etc okay and then and, and continue this is all is forbidden read the verse before it and those who they are married al muhsanatu min nisa is the married women so here the verse 24 and verse number 23 is telling you who is forbidden not who is lawful al muhsanat is married women and then he says illa except Except who? Except those who you capture. They are married, but yet you can have sex with them. So when you say to me in Islam, you are not allowed to have sex with your slave, this is a joke. I, I, I forgive you. You know, you don't want to face the truth. And you are trying to avoid how evil Islam is and how ugly no, no, Islam is. No, 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 okay, no. so I'm saying to you, okay, I, why we don't go then and see the scholars? No, because, why, you are, why you are rejecting the scholars? Give me a reason. Give me a reasonable Reason for you not to find one scholar agree. I mean, from all the Muslims in the world, you cannot find not, one Muslim. Not reje one... Rejecting the rejecting the scholars because uh, if you <laughs> read the Ferris uh, Tafsir Tafsir of Tabari, yeah. If you if you follow it, every verse, every verse, he Ferris says that scholars uh, have differed in this, and he gives many opinions. <laughs> that means. <laughs> That's that means okay, uh, 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 guys. Did you hear what Mr. Muhammad he said? He said, if you read, means, if you read a Tabari, you will see that every scholar do give you different opinion. This is Islam. This is salad. Yes, it is shish kebab. So tabari. how we can Even follow? This, okay, yes. so how we can follow this cult if every scholar give us different opinion? If you Muslims, your scholars cannot come to a conclusion. However, I have a news for you, Mr. Uh, Muhammad. All the scholars, I think, all I Muhammad, think Muhammad, 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 all the scholars agree, all the scholars with no exception, that you can have sex with your slaves. Do you want to challenge me in that? What do you say? Do you want to challenge no, me? This, this, I think, uh, okay, do you, this, want, do, uh, do you want to challenge this I return, return to them. Do you want to challenge? Do you want to challenge? Return to them. Do you want to challenge? If you read the Quran, my friend, 
Can you, you, okay, Quran, okay, let, us, let us make a challenge to, to each other, Muhammad. Can you name for me one scholar don't agree with having sex with the slaves without marriage? Can you name one? I don't, I don't remember now any scholar. Yeah. But, uh, but you cannot remember yeah. anyone anyway because all of them they agree. Read, read with me. This is uh, At-Tabari, the one you name. In the Nabiya Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yawm Hunayn, Ba'ath Jayshan Fi Awtas, Fakalu, Fakalu Aduan, Fasabu Sabaya Lahunna, Azwaj. So they got captured slaves and they have husbands from the Mushrikeen. So the Muslim, the, the, the Muslims, they were like afraid to have sex with them because they know the husbands. يَأْثُمُونَ مِنْ غِشْيَانَهُمْ فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى هَذِي الْآيَةِ وَالْمُحْسَنَاتُ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ إِلَّا مَنْ مَلَكَتْ إِمَانَكُمْ They have husbands. So this ayah came, Allah allowed in the Muslims to have sex with those slaves who they captured. This is the purpose of this verse. This is what it says. No, uh, no, no, no. You know, وَالْمُحْسَنَاتُ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ this. As you say, this already married woman, you have no. All right. Uh, it says right Ila. You speak, marry, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad, woman. don't you speak Arabic? Don't you speak but Arabic? Okay. When this married woman, this married woman is uh, become mal, uh, milk yameen, become milk yameen or captive uh -huh. in war, and not all all married women become a captive. Right. So, For example, so if only, you are, correct. If the Muslim Muslim army attack any. Any any country or something like this, this not okay. Uh, and they <coughs> have uh, victory we are, we, we over are getting them. Closer. We are getting closer. They so will now, not take all all okay. all so, women so, there. So so they can they okay. But the women women, especially those who <coughs> shared in the war, shared in the war, mm -hmm. they those the only woman can be taken as captive. Okay, and what you do with them? Can and you this, speak, can you speak with woman, them? this can be taken as captive. And there, the verse says, وَحِلَّ لَكُمْ مَا وَرَأَ ذَلِكُمْ أَنْ تَبْتَغُوا بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ When you use okay, your, now, your okay, money... Don't, don't, jump, don't, jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Let us, let us stop in the slave. Let us stop in the slave. What we would do with the slaves? Those women, we enslave them. We capture them. And they have husbands. What Islam is saying to you in this verse? What we would do with them? Are we allowed to have sex with them or no? No, to marry, to marry after marriage. No, my friend, they have husbands. They have husbands. How you want to marry? How you want to marry a woman? She have husband. Their husband is alive. No, it says there, uh, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad let me, let me, let me read for you. Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. Let me read for you. فأصابوا سبايا لهن لهن أزواج من المشركين. لهن أزواج من المشركين فكان المسلمون يأثمون من غشيانهم فأنزل الله تبارك وتعالى هذه الآية والمحصنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت أيمانكم أي أنهن حلال لكم This is not marriage If you complete the verse If you complete the verse that you will understand is the exact meaning which I no, am saying after now. that, no, the verse after is telling you what is lawful for you. So from the from the slaves and after is what is lawful. From the slave and before, it's what is this, not what is not lawful yeah. for you. And this uh, milk I mean, let me read for you. Let, let, let me read for you. Let me read for you. Hold on, hold on. And, uh, Muhammad, 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 Muhammad. This is at Tabari saying. Read carefully with me. And Abu Sa'id al-Khudari. قال أصبنا نساء من سبي أو طاس لهن أزواج. فكرهنا فكرهنا أن نقع عليهن ولهن أزواج فسألنا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فنزلت والمحسنات من النساء إلا ما ملكت إيمانكم فاستحللنا فروجهن Do you see it? فاستحللنا فروجهن They did not marry them They have, married, they have husbands, they are alive This, 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 uh, this is not true This is not, not true It's I in front of your eyes this, Okay, but, but because, does it say that in Al-Tabari? Okay, this is the, 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 Okay, what I is want you okay? Give me then give me other name. At Tabari is not a true, he's a liar. Give me another scholar. Give me one. Isn't it funny you cannot find me one scholar agree with you? Just one. Well, this, you know, this, uh, the same story might be circulated uh, in, uh, in many, many books or with 
My when friend, what, what, do, what do you want them? It doesn't matter how many circulated. My friend, Muhammad, Muhammad, listen, listen, listen. listen. I, I, Muhammad, I respect you. You are a kind man. I respect you. This is story circulated. This is the story of your prophet. Your prophet is the one who gave him the Quran. So what do you mean circulated? So for sure the scholars, they will use it. So you are saying now, all the scholars use the same story to prove what I am saying. Thank you very much. So what's my problem? What do you want them to do? You want them to you to fabricate a new story? This is what your prophet said, and the scholar they are using it, they are proving it. This is not this is not is, is that is that is that a sahih hadith? Is that a sahih hadith or it's a weak hadith? It's sahih hadith. So what the problem? What is the problem? No, no, I think a scholar or Muslim believes that this hadith and the inspiration. Inspired or guys, read with me carefully. I, I got it for you in English. Believe. They took listen, listen. The only book, Muhammad, this is the only book which oh. we believe in in it hundred percent is the Quran only. No, you don't and believe the Quran. Is no, you clear, don't believe clear. in the Quran. Here we go. I just told you what the Quran is saying. You, you, you are fabricating your own Quran. The Quran says it is lawful for you, it is not allowed for you, sorry, your sister, etc., 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 and then it says, accept your right hand process, and then you say to me, it is about marriage, this is not true, those oh, are your what, hand process. What, what does mean, muhsinin, muhsinin what does mean Which muhsinin? Which means by, by legal and relationship, legal relationship, and having sex with a slave, it's but legal according to Islam, Muhammad. 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 Having, okay, read, read the hate in front of me. Read the hate. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. They took captives women in the day of Autos who had their husbands. They were afraid to have sexual intercourse with them. So they come to the Prophet and they say to him, uh, you know, like we are afraid to have uh, because we know their husband. So he said to them, This verse was revealed, and women already married except those whom your right hand possess. So it is not lawful for you, chapter 4, verse 24. It's not lawful for you to have sex with married women, but it's lawful for you to have sex with married women as long as they are your slaves. Not to marry them. You cannot marry a woman, she is married. This is this is the this is your prophet talking. They are married, those women have a husband. So how you want to marry? How you how you are right? You are right that a married woman you have no right to marry her. Right. But the verse give give you the <coughs> legislation how to deal with these captives. Uh -huh. Not to take them just to practice sexual with uh, sexual well, illegal. Show me show me show me where no. you are saying that. Where you get this from? If all, all, all the reference of Islamic reference it says it's about just having sex with those slaves. Those are your right hand process, and Allah He gave them legal access to them by raping this, them because what simply, you, this, uh, ill, what the, this uh, fallacy what you give, I think uh, I am sorry to say that, but this uh, this uh, <laughs> illogic because. If I'm not the one saying that, that, my friend. It's, people, it's, all people it's going your to the Okay, show me what you, it says, yeah, my friend. My friend, are you allowed to marry a married woman? Of yes course. or no? Are you allowed to marry a, a married woman? Yes or no? No, no. Okay, the story in front of us about I'm married women. Marry the story in front of us about woman. about married women. Yeah. Uh, Muhammad, one, Muhammad. This. Those women. Okay, let me ask you. Did Muhammad? Did Muhammad have sex with did Muhammad have sex with, with Safiya? Yes or no? Before he married her, did he have sex with her? He did. Did he, did he have sex with Mary the Copt? Yes or no? With who? Mary the Copt. Uh, uh, Mary the uh, Yeah. He married her. He, he married her. Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof? Was Mary the Copt one of his slaves as a gift? Yes or no? Your prophet used to accept your, your prophet used to accept gifts as a slaves. He accepted them, he liked them. He never free Mary the Copt. If Mary was the wife of the prophet, that means she became a free. When Mary she became a free, can you show me a reference? 
Mary, Mary become. No, no, you know the Quran. The Quran gave us uh, the reference. Yeah. Where, where, where? Can you show me? Yeah. I wanna, I wanna learn from you, Muhammad. Where in the Quran we can find that Mary the cop became the the wife of Muhammad? No, 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 the Quran didn't give uh, it's so how you, you, but you just uh, said that to me. You just said to me the Quran give us the reference. So where we can find okay. Of, uh, uh, let me ask you again. Let me repeat the question. Was Mary was Mary was was Mary Muhammad Muhammad? Hold on. Was Mary a gift given to your prophet as a slave? Yes or no? Did he accept the gift? Of yes, slaves, okay. yes, yes, right. given to him. Okay, for how long Mary was in the house of your prophet? You said he didn't marry her, right? How long your prophet was having her as a slave in his house before she became his wife? According to you, do you know? I have no idea about this. Uh, for how long? He okay. Stayed. Do you know? Do you know the story of your prophet in chapter of At-Tahrim? He forbid himself from having sex with Mary. How she is? How she is? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chapter of Tahrim. Listen, listen. Chapter of Tahrim. Hold on, Muhammad. Hold on. Listen, listen, listen to me. Listen. Breathe. In chapter of Tahrim, verse number one, your prophet took an oath that he will never sleep with Mary the cop. How he take an oath he will not sleep with his wife if she is his wife. No, no, this I think this story is uh, is weak because <laughs> another other story, other story uh -huh. about chewing gum. I think is this chewing gum called magafir or something ah, like this. Ah, chewing gum. So the prophet he swears that he. I, this is how I, serious. He, so he, Allah, so Allah, he, he make a verse he about the chewing his, gum. Uh, chewing. Allah, he make a verse about chewing gum. Allah from the heaven, from the seven galaxy, he made a chapter. It's called the chapter of forbidden. About chewing gum, the prophet he said that they want to chew gum. Allah get upset, and Allah sent the verse saying, "Why you are saying you want to chew gum?" Not, uh, not, not make fun of this because the background, the background why Allah <laughs> rebuke him because he made the law lawful thing he made illegal. Once this become he made illegal for him. Okay, so did you did you just say? Did you say? Become illegal even to his followers. All right, all right, all right. So, so are you saying? Are you saying your prophet? Your prophet? He made. He made. Uh, 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 he fabricated a law. No, no, I don't think that. You just I said that think. because you just said when Muhammad he forbid that it became forbidden to his followers. So Muhammad fabricated a law. Is not coming from Allah. Because no, if because he already not Allah not give him uh, command him to correct, forbid. Correct. Correct. So why Muhammad forbid something he Allah did not tell him to forbid? forbid. This he, is the question. You just you just said you just said something very important. Why Muhammad forbid something Ooh. Allah did not forbid him to forbid, did not ask him to forbid. So Muhammad fabricating Allah. You just admitted that. It's a uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is. A normal human being. It doesn't matter. So, 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 as long Muhammad is a normal human being, why then you take for granted whatever he say? Suddenly he is a human being. So Muhammad, Muhammad, he created tons of laws, forbidding many things. So now, how come now he is just a normal human being? He make mistakes, and why the mistake is about sex? The, what what I think uh, you know this uh, interpretation and uh, hadith Muhammad, or something like Muhammad, this. Read Muhammad, read prophet, uh, Muhammad read with me. Muhammad read with me. Muhammad read with me. A jalalain. Tafsir a jalalain. O Prophet, why you do forbid what God has made for lawful for you, for the for infirms of your Coptic handmade Maria? Guys, does it say they're handmade? People in the in the chat. Do you see the word there in the in the Muslim interpretation, Tafsir Jalalain, that Maria she is called as a handmaid? She's not a wife. What he did, he made her unlawful for him. He swear to his wives because they got him busted many times having sex with her in their bed. That's why they're upset. He bring the slave to their bed. This, uh, you know, this uh, simple. Uh, when I he can. lay, listen, if you listen, Muhammad, says it says this. it says in the front of us when he lay with yeah, her. Yeah. 
Yes. Ma, yes. If you took, take just ma, the word ma. Ma ahal Allah laka, which means what Allah he allowed you to do. So what Allah allowed him to do to have sex with the slaves. Thank you very much. And this no, is your no, no, this no, is no, your Muslim no, interpretation. Muhammad, uh, you see, I respect you. I believe you are a good guy, and I expect you to be honest. This is a Jalalain. This is a Jalalain. Why a Jalalain is saying that? Give me a reason. Why a Jalalain is being a liar now? Why a Jalalain Allah is saying? Allah why? Allah why? Why? Jalalain, Allah, but a Jalalain, a Jalalain, and a Tabari, they just they are reporters. They they My report friend, what? Those are scholars. That, uh, okay, they, listen, listen. They think that. Okay, can you? Do you? Do you is a Jalalain? Is a Jalalain, is a Jalalain a liar or he is saying the truth? Because if he is saying that and the story is not about Mary the Copt, this means he's lying. If this is not the yeah. truth, this means he's lying. You have to say it. You have to say it. As long as long as long this is not a true, you have to say. You have to say. Okay, then 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 you have to accept that this is a true story. Never. Okay, okay, Muhammad. Listen, let me give you a break. Hold on. When a Jalalain says that this is about the hand the handmaid Maria, that's mean Maria. Is not a wife. It's number one, and when he say when he lay with her in the house of Hafsa, that means your prophet he is having sex with women who they are slaves. They are handmaid slaves in his house, and they are not married to him. And this is why his wife Hafsa she forced him to take an oath because her father is a powerful man and Muhammad is scared from him, so she forced him to make a lawful promise that he will never do that. Muhammad, he took an oath. He said, I I swear I swear I will never sleep with Mary the Cop. After some time, Muhammad, he missed Mary the Cop. She is sexy, she is beautiful, she has a nice body, she is young, so he could not resist. So he made a verse saying that Allah told me, Why you forbid yourself what Allah made lawful for you? But this is the question for you now. Where Allah made lawful for him to have sex with the slave, she is not captured. Because the Quran speak only about having sex with a slave is captured. Nowhere in the Quran is speak about having sex with a slave is not captured. And Mary is not captured. She was bought. She was given to him as a gift. So based on the Quran still, Muhammad have no right to sleep with this woman for she is not a right hand process. Right hand process is the capture women from war. This is not a capture women from war, which means Muhammad is doing an unlawful thing, even according to Islam. That is Islam. You know, this uh, Islam, Islam generally, generally, Islam uh, forbids uh, practicing sexual without uh, marriage. That's not true. Islam, all of it is about sexual without marriage. All of it. No, 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 no. Okay, no, let, let, no, let, no. okay let me ask you. No, no. Think, let, okay, uh, okay, okay, just, okay. Let, uh, let, if, me, let me ask. Let me ask you. If when Muhammad, you, when if you, when Muhammad, okay, hold on. When when Muhammad, two men, they came to him and they said to him that we are horny and we want to have sex. Can we enjoy those women? He said. He said to them, go and let the, those women go and enjoy them. This is what's called muta. So they went two guys, two Muslims. They went to a woman and they asked her to sleep with them. And they offer her when he offer her like a, like a, a fabric or a garment. So uh, she re she accept one, she reject the other one. This is sex without marriage. For exchange of a benefit, she will give her vagina. They will give her a, a, a dress. Do you want me to show you the reference? No, no, this 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 uh, not true because if you just my friend, don't tell me a true. What do you, what do you mean, uh, uh, Muhammad? So I want you, Quran. I want you, I want you, I want you. That, this is Quran, chapter twenty-four, verse twenty-four. The same verse we are reading, chapter four, verse twenty-four. It says, "And pay them their wages for those who you enjoy it, which means they enjoy their vagina." If we go right now and see the interpretation, they will say to you, "This is about the muta." No, no. If 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 you just search uh, the Quran. The, the this bear funky ho funky ho funky ho funky ho hunna funky ho hunna funky ho the same the same verb the same verb uh, in the in the story of uh, Sayyidina Musa Moses and 
اوكي وات وات متعه مين محمد محمد جاست محمد وات متعه وات متعه مين وات متعه مين ان ذا فيرس القصص 27 وات سيلز قال اني اريد ان انكحك احدى ابنتي هاتين على ان تاجرني ثمان حجج رايت سو وات از ذات مين اكسشينج فور ماني Correct. So we exchange my daughters for. Change for money. Unkihaka, unkihaka, unkihaka. Yeah. Means. So you can marry, marry. You can, you can f those daughters. Okay. But you give me money. Thank you very much. Now let me ask you a question. Very simple. Now, in chapter four, verse number twenty-four. Is that the verse is speaking about muta? Very. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four. The one is speaking about paying money to women for enjoying their vagina. Is that about muta? Chapter four. Mm. Is that about the muta? <clears throat> no, not about the muta. How about muta? Okay, let us read together. This is Tafsir ibn Abbas, the prophet cousin. He said that you should seek with your money marrying women for an agreed period of time. Zawaj al muta. What the word zawaj mean? Marriage. Muta is sexual pleasure. But the lawfulness of this practice later abrogated. So your prophet, your prophet, he allowed the Muslims during his time to go and rent women. And pay them money to take off their panties, and he called it marriage. How you can call that marriage? And here we go. The reference in front of me. I'm not saying anything. This is the cousin of your prophet. This, uh, this I think, the uh, Muta. This you will not find this except in Shia. Shia. No, no, no. This is Quran. This is Quran. This and is, not this all. Is, Shia. This is not Quran. This is Quran. Shia, My friend, think, this is not Shia. Uh, even Shia, Shia, Muhammad. Yes. Yeah, Muhammad. You are from Sudan. I know, I, listen, yeah, Muhammad. This is not for the Shia, not for the Sunni. This is Quran. Is the Quran the book of the Shia? No, no the Quran didn't, didn't say okay, that. Okay, here we go. Quran this is Ibn Abbas. Is Ibn Abbas as a Shia? Is Ibn Kathir as a Shia? Is Ibn Taymiyyah as a Shia? No, not, not Ibn Kathir, okay. not Ibn Abbas. Name, name not, for uh, me. Okay, name Shia. for me. Name for me an Islamic Sunni scholar. He agree with you. And he will say this is for the Shia, not for us. Can you name for one? Just one. Yeah, this verse, this verse, this verse about the muta. That this verse is about muta. Can you name for me a scholar? He is a Muslim Sunni, and you think he is, you know, he can agree with you. Just one. Or you would do the same about the previous one. Not even a single scholar agree with you. All the Muslim Sunni modern, scholars agree. Uh, all the Muslim, modern, my friend, scholar. my friend, all Muslim Sunni scholars like, agree uh, that this is about muta. This is about muta. What say you? All Muslim scholars, they say this is about muta, but they say the Shia they say it's not abrogated. The Sunni they say it's abrogated. Doesn't matter. Abrogated, not abrogated, will not change anything. <laughs> it's it, I, still. I, I I I don't see this uh, this uh, this issue in this verse because if you read the verse complete from al muhsinat Till in Allah can Alim and Hakima, you will get the idea, the full idea of the verse. Uh, Muhammad, I want you to do this. Tomorrow you call me back yeah. and you, you search in the internet and you find me one Muslim scholar agree with you. And if you can do that, you are my hero. Is that okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I, I will do it, inshallah. Richard. All right. And tomorrow my, might be according to my time. If I, no problem. You can call me anytime you are welcome. But my friend, my friend, I I, I, I am challenging you but, friendly. You know, I, I always like to talk to you. I'm challenging you friendly to find me one scholar agree with you. Just one. Just one. I mean, don't tell me those hundreds of millions of Muslims and you cannot find one of them from those who call themselves scholars and you accept them as a scholars. One of them agree with you. That means there is something wrong in your belief. If all of them are against what you believe, it means you. This is based on you. You are the only Muslim who understand the Quran, and all of them they are wrong. 
and that doesn't make sense no 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 i, I didn't okay. say that but, then, uh, then you have to find me well, one uh, scholar I at least there my in, friend uh, you have to find me one scholar agree with you just one can you find can, can you name for me let me repeat the question again can you name for me one scholar yeah muhammad can you name one for me just one he can agree with you for all the muslims that this is not about the muta or this is not about having sex with a slave is lawful in islam show me one scholar agree with you and you are the hero i promise you i will name you as a hero in front of everybody for finding me the scholar our scholars, our scholars, just uh, you know, most of them, mm -hmm. if not all, uh, take you know this uh, classical account. As, what is, uh, what is it? Some make it very, very holy or sacred. Even uh, some people, uh, some scholars say, the the truest book after the Quran is Sahih Muslim, uh, Sahih Bukhari. Okay, so Bukhari. so do you accept? And when you go so, in, in Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, many 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 uh, hadiths uh, rejected by different scholars. Some scholars. So which which one which one you, you accept? Which one which one which one you accept? Let us make it now more clear. Are you saying even Al Bukhari is garbage and Muslim is garbage? No, this uh, this uh, this uh, just this uh, reporter. These reporters and they mm. they have their own thoughts and thinking, mm. and they 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 strive hardly to collect all things that uh, they they think uh, mm. being attributed to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I see. So, and they so, did their okay. best. I mean, you know, you know, you see, you see, uh, uh, Muhammad. Why in the world someone? He is a scholar. He will say that Mary, she was the maid, the home maid of Muhammad. Why the Muslim scholar will fabricate such a lie if this is not true? And why he will say that the Prophet, he slept with her? Why he want to do that? Can you find me a reason? I mean, don't you think this is disgusting to lie about the Prophet life and the Muslim don't kill them? The Muslims are very aggressive people. If you lie about Muhammad, they will kill you. So now this is a scholar. And he uh, write a book, ignorant, ignorant, and his book. Muslim, what uh, ignorant? ignorant Muslim do, do no, that. no. Your prophet was ignorant because too. Your prophet, he killed people for the same reason. No, no. This, this is not true. Is it? Because, is uh, it? Okay. Who, who is who is the one who said the, uh, the one who said the prophet is a black? Kill him. What do you mean? If anyone no, say the, pro the prophet is, is a black, kill him. Uh, so the, pro the prophet, true. he killed people for less reason, my friend. The prophet, he chopped a woman two pieces when she's alive for making a point against him. <laughs> this uh, is not true because if... Who, what do you mean true? So, so who is the one who made up those uh, stories? Can you tell me? Out. Who is the one who wrote this story and made it up? Who is the one? Give me his name. Why people are lying? Why your prophet is a victim of the lies of the Muslims? Muslims are lying about their prophet being a criminal? No, 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 no. Uh, you know, some people lie because uh, you know this uh, through history, mm. many many circumstances and uh, you know political issues, uh, uh -huh. religious issues, and uh -huh. some people trying to take uh, mm. take advantage of some situations or some right, right, right. benefit. Right, right, right. Oh, there, there might be according to these different uh, mm. different situations. True story. There invention and forgeries and something like this mm. you know you you can find a hadith Muhammad, a Muhammad, let, 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 let me ask you be honest with me Muhammad, Muhammad what did you eat what did you eat for today so, Muhammad what did you eat for today yeah. be honest with me what did you eat for today did you today? Eat, did you eat any honey Did you I, eat, I did just you, did ate a uh, full, full, uh, full, uh, full of falafel. This is, this, is, of this is why. This is why you are not getting things together. Full and falafel. This explained everything. So, Muhammad, look what you are saying. Uh, there's the reporter and those reporter and those reporters and those reporters. What you are trying to say to me, you Muslims are, are a bunch of liars. And we cannot trust what you say. So if the reporters are liars, why will trust you? Why do I want to trust you, you as a Muslim? If your scholars are liars, if Sahih al-Bukhari is full of lies, and you call it yet Sahih, Sahih means correct, 
Sahih Muslim is full of lies, but Muslims call it Sahih, which means correct. So you call the book correct, but the book is not correct. So how we can trust Muslims? And how we can trust a religion? None of the Muslims can agree about the meaning of a verse. And you said yourself to me that at Tabari said in many places that the scholars agree about not to agree about the meaning of this verse. So the Muslims, they have one agreement about not to agree. So how we can agree about Islam to be a religion if we cannot agree about the meaning of a verse? Now, how we can find the meaning? Why does God, he gave us a book. This book, nobody agree about its meaning, including the Muslims. So now we have to guess. And God knows which one is right, and maybe not, maybe none of them is right. So, what kind of religion is going to be guidance? But you just told me that this religion nobody agreed about what it's mean, including the scholars of Islam themselves. Book should supposedly is sent as a guidance for mankind, not to make them go crazy. But you are keep confirming to me we, that those are reporters are a bunch of idiots, uh, and they say stupid things, and it doesn't make sense. So we cannot agree with them. So who is the one we agree with? How me as a Christian, I'm going to learn about Islam from you? Are you a scholar? Muhammad, are you a scholar? Are you a scholar? Uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad, let me ask, are you a scholar? No, no, I am not so, a scholar. So, how, you can, how, we can scholar. Take, how we can take your statement over a statement of a Jalalain or a Tabari, if you are not qualified even to get close to them? How you say that a Tabari is wrong, a Jalalain is wrong, and Ibn Abbas is wrong, and you are not a scholar. So how you can say that? I will tell you why. Because you yourself, you are coming from a good family. You don't want to accept Islam to be ugly. You don't want to accept Islam to be crime mindset. So what do you do? You deny what is in front of your eyes in order to save your honor. I'm not going to belong to this cult. I don't believe in this garbage. There's no, no, no way no, my religion. No, like, this is what you are doing. Thank this is what you, you are doing, you, Muhammad. This is what you are doing. Your religion is confirming that in the front of us. It's in the screen. And what do you do? You deny it. It's just a denial, but you cannot prove it. Can you prove it? No. But you deny it. I am proving no, to no, you. No, no, you know, I am, this, I am uh, proving to what, you, uh, what uh, Muhammad. Did I prove to you what I say, religion, Muhammad? Did I ever say, Muhammad? Muhammad, did I ever say Muhammad, something to you Muhammad. and I did not give a proof? Did I ever give you something? I did not show you the proof in the screen. Never. Never. So I can prove what no, I say, what you showed, or what you know, can what do, you or what you can do. You deny religion. I think is strictly, is strictly regard. Uh, the way of life or guidance for what, what, is, what is the guidance if you just told me guys guys look, look at this look at this uh, Muhammad you told me you, you told me that the scholars you take, Muhammad you told me the scholars disagree about the meaning of any verse so how is going to be guidance if you Muslim cannot even find out the meaning of it in order to have a manual which is guidance for me it has to be clear but you are the one who told me if you go in a tabari, you will see he says in every verse interpretation that the scholars they differentiate in about the meaning of this verse. It doesn't matter what the verse, all of them. So they don't agree about anything. So how such a book is going to be guidance if it's confusing and even the scholars cannot give me a meaning? So you have no, this no. is why uh, this is why Islam is a cult. Muhammad. Ah no. Not, no, you see, you see, al -ikhtilaf, al -ikhtilaf. no, 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 my friend, this is the book of God. This is the book of God sent by a messenger, and supposedly the Quran says we explain it to you in details. Do you want me to show you the Quran saying that we explain it to you in details? So how Allah He say we explain it to you in details, but yet nobody understand the details. So what do you mean, people? They are a scholar, scholar, a scholar, God gave them inspirations and gave them what knowledge. inspiration? No, 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 my friend. Here we go. People. You just said you just contradict what? yourself. You said inspiration. If those who are scholars they have inspiration, so how come you aren't accepting them? You a second ago you told me those scholars they have many opinion. So Allah giving them different inspiration with different opinion contradicting each other. And what do you mean inspiration? Prophet of Islam, they are prophet no, too. When, the, no, the, no, the, what, what the I said to you, of Islam, they are when prophet. you find, when when you find, when you find this, a scholar says, uh, a scholar differ in this thing. That means all all are not uh, true. I think one one 
might be true. Okay, give me the one is true. Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. Finally, we get to an agreement. Finally, we get an agreement with Mr. Muhammad that he think that one is a true. This is my challenge to you. Give me the true one. Finally, yes, thank you. Thank you. If thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. Don't, one, Muhammad, don't waste my time. You said true, you said one, you said there's only maybe no, there's no. only one is true. Because okay. Basic, so who basic, is the true? Who basic, is the true killer. one? Can of, you give me the true one? My friend, can you give me the true one? Can you give me can you give me a true one? I think the language. <laughs> can you huh? give me a true one? Can you give me a true one? You said maybe there's one of them true. Which is color is it true? Give me name him. Yes. All, all. Uh, if there is a di there is a hmm. dispute in something, hmm. that means all are not uh, are not true. Uh, guys, anyone understand what he's saying? I mean, okay, who is the one who know the meaning? You cannot name for me one scholar he know the meaning and the scholars they differ in their opinion and yet we cannot know who is the one is saying the truth so how we can follow Allah if we are following wrong interpretation for the Quran because there's many interpretation and you are saying maybe one maybe you're not sure even so now how we will know the Quran alone is not enough to understand how we can understand the hadith is full of garbage as you said the seerah is full of garbage as you said so how we are going to understand this religion? How oh, this religion no. can be a guide for us? Hadith. What is in hadith or sirah? Mm -hmm. We have to check with the Quran. We have to check with the Quran. Okay, no problem. In the Quran it says that Allah He sent the check book. The okay, all, hold, all on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In the Quran it says, uh, okay. Through. In the Quran says, تصديق الذي بين يديه وتفصيل الكتاب. So here, explain in details. Did the Quran explain to you in details? Is that true? Is that true the Quran saying explain things to you in details? <laughs> Where the explanation? Where the explanation for the Quran in details? I want to see it. Can you show me a verse explain anything? No, if, no, no. The if, Quran says that they they are uh, they, they as uh, they are verses hmm. uh clear by not uh -huh. you can understand that uh -huh. if especially for <laughs> if uh you have a knowledge of Arabic, you can understand understand what this verse means. Uh -huh. But there are some some verses. Okay, here we go. I speak Arabic, need, you speak need, Arabic. Need, listen, need, listen, uh, Muhammad. This is not a true. Knowledge. This is not a true, not a true. You speak Arabic, even if your Arabic is a Sudani Arabic, which is not good. And I speak Arabic, but yet you cannot ag agree about the mean of a verse. And all the scholars you say that Jalalini speak Arabic. If Tabari speak Arabic, if Nikathir speak Arabic, those are scholars, and yet they don't agree with each other. So what we will do now? So the Quran doesn't matter if you speak Arabic or not. You read it as long as you wish, still you understand nothing, and you just quote for me a verse, a chapter 3, verse number 7, saying that this is a book nobody understands except Allah. I mean, this is a stupid religion. Why in the world does Allah, he sent me a book, and he is saying to me in that book that there is part of the Quran nobody understands save Allah. So why you give it to me? He said he gave it to me to confuse me. <laughs> a Tabari, a Tabari reported from someone and a Jalalain from someone else. So, suppose that you now in, uh, so, in, so, in uh, America, okay. I think. Who is, who is that one? Uh, that one is the prophet. That one? Here, they listen, are reporting from they report from here, who? They report from the prophet. Report listen, from listen. Someone else there, they report, they the report, report. Listen, they report from the prophet. So what a scholar should do, the, the should report. report. Will not Okay. Not be the same. No, they report from the prophet. That's wonderful. So you are saying to them, you should not report from the prophet because we don't trust the prophet. The prophet is a liar. They reported to you what the prophet said. When I said to you about about the attack, reported directly from the prophet. This is from who they reported then. They quote for you the hadith from the prophet. A long chain, a long chain of narrators. Let, let, me, let me ask you, Muhammad. When the Quran was written, when the Quran was written. Do you, do you have a Quran at home? Do you have a the time of the prophet. Muhammad, uh, do, you, do, you, do, you, prophet. Muhammad do you have a Quran at home? Do you, yeah. have, do you have a Quran with you? Let me get my Quran. I will show you something. Hold on. I have a Quran, <laughs> yeah. 
<sighs> All right. Muhammad, open with me the Quran you have to page number A. In the end of the Quran, there's a page A, Aleph. Do you see it in Arabic? Aleph. Yes. In the end of the Quran, there's a page Aleph, then the page number B at the end. Aleph Ba. It says Tarif on Bihad al Mushaf Bihad al Mushaf al Sharif. Do you see it? Yeah. All right. It says there, and you can read with me. كتب هذا المصحف وضبط على ما يوافق رواية حفص ابن سليمان ابن المغيرة الأسد الكوفي لقراءة عاصم ابن أبي النجود الكوفي التابع عن أبي عبد الرحمن وعبد الله بن حبيب السلمى عن عثمان بن عفان وعلي ابن أبي طالب وزيد بن ثابت وأبي ابن كعب عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Do you agree with that? Okay. Okay, let's translate. Guys, let's translate. This Quran is Written according to the recitation, recitation, not the writing, of Hafs, the son of Suleiman, the son of Al Maghira, Al Asadi, Al Kufi, according to Asim ibn Abi Nujud Al Kufi, Al Tabi'i, according to Abi Abdul Rahman Abdullah ibn Habib Al Salma, according to Uthman ibn Affan, according to Ali, according to uh, Zaid, according to uh, Abi ibn Kaab, according to the Prophet. Okay. So the, 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 the one we have in our hand is coming from a guy, his name is Hafs. Do you agree? Hafs, yeah. Yeah, okay, Hafs, what year Hafs was exist? Hafs, I think, uh, I don't remember, but I think uh, 100 something, 100. Uh, About 200 years after Muhammad, okay. So all this time you don't have a Quran. All this time you don't have Quran. Two hundred years after Muhammad, and you have a report of a guy. His name is Hafs. Do you know who is Hafs? Hafs, when uh, you know, Rawi, uh, Rawi, uh, uh, But do you know who is he? Do you know what he is? Do you know that Hafs? Do you know that Hafs? Muslim, they say he is a liar. Do you agree with that? Do you believe not all that you're Muslim? Okay, not hold on. Look, I can show you the proof. Uh, the Muslims, all of them, they agree <laughs> that Hafs was a liar. Hafs ibn Sulaiman, he was a liar. He was a fraud. So how he is the one who you take the Quran from him 200 years after Muhammad? The Quran we have now is not the Quran of Muhammad. It's the Quran of Hafs. And you are the one who say, we are reporting to you, reporting to you, reporting to you, hadith. This is written This is written long after Muhammad, more than 200 years. And Hafs in your Islamic books is a liar. All right? He is a liar. He is accused to be a fraud. He is a fabricator. You know, imagine, guys, Hafs is rejected to give hadith. Muslims don't accept hadith from Hafs. Why? Because he's a liar. Any hadith from Hafs, they dump it right away. It's not weak. They don't, they don't consider it weak. They dump it right away. Why? Because... No, no, he, because he, he, he is not a muhaddith. No, uh, he's muhaddith. Because muhaddis, the one so who can recite... No, my, my friend. My friend. The, the one, no, 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 no. Listen, okay. listen. This is not the reason. This is not the reason. Because they got him busted that he is a liar and he fabricated stories. So how you know that this is the true Quran if he is the only one who reported to you? He reported from his father, Asim. Do you know who's Asim? Do you know who's Asim? Asim is a fraud too. So his father is a, is a liar too. Imagine, guys. The son, Hafs, Hafs is, is, a, is a son, is a stepson of Asim. Hafs is accused to be a fraud. And he is a liar. And he copied books. It's not his. And he claim it is. And he is a son of a guy he was accused to to be a liar and he fabricate hadith and remember muhammad he said that the one who fabricated hadith about me he will sit in the chair of hell of fire in the hell fire for eternity so based on islamic statement hafs and asim the son and the father the son the stepson and the father both they will go to hell but yet the muslims are taking the quran from them they reject their hadith because they are liars they accept their quran do you, do, have you ever heard of a madness like this? 
How we can? How we can? So only only religion is a joke. Uh, you know Dr. this uh, the issue the issue of going going to hell. This nobody. No, I can uh, show you the hadith, my friend. Uh, That's not me saying. Nobody. I can, I can show you the hadith. I can show you the hadith. Listen, listen. Uh, 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 I can show you tons of reference speaking about Hafs. That he is. Look, 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 look what the Bukhari say. Look, look what the Bukhari. Hold on. Look what the Bukhari. Listen, listen, listen. Look what your scholar said about Hafs. My friend, my friend. My, my friend. Muhammad, Muhammad. Muhammad. This is the book of Mizan al Atidal. Look what they said. The scholars, what they said about Hafs. Look what they said about him. They said, Matrukul Hadith, which means his Hadith is garbage. And then they continue saying, وَقَالَ إِبْنُ مَعِينَ أَيْضًا لَيْسَ بِثِقَةٍ He's a liar. He, he, he fabricates things. He's not trustworthy. وَقَالَ الْبُخَارِ تَرَكُوهُ They left him. He's, he's, he's a liar. To stay away from him. مَتْرُوكٌ لَا يُصَدَّقُ Anything he say is, should be left away and is not to be trusted or to believe in. قَالَ إِبْنُ خَرَّاشِ كَذَّابٌ يَضَعُ الْحَدِيثِ He is a liar and he fabricates hadith. قَالَ إِبْنُ حَبَّان يقلب الأسانيد ويرفع المراسيل وكان يأخذ كتب الناس فينسخها ويرويها عن غير سماع. He used to fabricate and flip upside the hadith and he used to make what is not right right and what is right wrong and he used to take the books of people and he copy it and he claim it is his own. This is your scholars speaking about him and look what it says here. حدثنا يحيى القطان قال ذكر شعبة حفص بن سليمان فقال كان يأخذ كتب الناس وينسخها أخذ مني كتابا فلم يرده he's a thief he's a you know he's he's a fraud he's a thief he took my book he copied it and he claimed this is his book and he did never get me the book back قال سألت يحيى بن بن معين عن حفص بن سليمان ابن أبي عمر البزاز فقال ليس بشيء he is not even to consider all those are your scholars saying Hafs is a scam. And yet you Muslims, you have a Quran coming from Hafs. Do you want me to show you what they say about his you father? Know, Do you want me to show you what they say about his father? What about, about father? his father is even more, more ugly. So the son, he got the Quran from the father. The son and the father both are scam. So you Muslims got your Quran from a scam. And you Muslims don't accept their hadith. For they fabricate hadith, but you trust their Quran. Hadith is lower than the Quran. If somebody is a liar, proved to be a liar already, we should not accept him in the court to witness for anything. He's a liar. So how we can trust him for the Quran and we we know we don't we don't trust him for the hadith, for he's a liar. So my friend, you are wasting your time. The Quran is the same as your hadith, all is a fabrication full of stupid stories, and there's no proof of it. Do you have a Quran? You see, even your Quran says there's no manuscript for the Quran. This is according to the recitation of Hafs. There's no book. Rewire to Hafs. You don't have the book of Hafs. Oh, so this, uh, this, is, uh, this is not true because my the friend. Quran, okay, the Quran do you have the book of Hafs? Do you have a book of Hafs? The Quran itself uh, <laughs> proves that it, according to according what to who? Mushriki Makkah said at that time, mm -hmm. uh, accused the Prophet of uh, of uh, copying copying uh, what it called Atatir al Awadin. Yeah, so. وقالوا أساطير الأولين اكتتبها وهي تملى عليه تملى عليه زي 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 كونفين ذا دو بروف ذا ذيس ذا بروفيت ديكتيت سامثينج تو ديكتيت سامثينج وات ديس هاف تو دو وذ ماي توبيك ناو وات ديس هاف تو دو وذ ماي توبيك ماي فريند وات ديس هاف تو دو وذ ماي توبيك دي اكيوز هيم ذات هيز ا لاير وي جت ذات دي اكيوز هيم ذات ذيس از ستيبيت اند ذيس از ذا فابريس اوف اول نيشنز وي جت ذات I'm asking you now the Quran you have in your hand. The Quran you have in your hand is the recitation of Hafs. Where is the Quran of Muhammad? No, no, no this, 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 I think, uh, this, uh, what it's called, uh, this, this story, I think, fabricated because the Quran itself, mm. first of all, should be preserved in the memory of. Uh, well, here of, we go. It's reserved, uh, it's reserved it's only in the head of one man, my friend. Don't fool yourself. This is coming from one man, not the memory of the Muslims. The one who you got it from is Hafs. Not all the Muslims. Hafs. 
So don't for yourself. They are, they are many, many, many. No, you don't accept. You don't, you don't accept. You accept only. You know, you accept. You have to be honest. All agrees. So why you call it? Why you call it the recitation of Hafs? If Hafs was 200 years after Muhammad, there's many, but many Muslims they know the Quran. Then why Hafs? Why from all the Muslims you choose Hafs? If all the Muslims. Other than half, yes. So, why you choose half? Half is a liar, as I showed you. You Muslim, you say he's a liar, and okay. now you are choosing half out of all the Muslims. Why, if uh, if there's other Muslim in the Quran, why you choose the one you call him liar? Does it make no, sense? No, this, uh, to call him liar or something like this is not true, but uh, when the scholars rejected him in hadith, hmm. he's not, not hadith. It's not Muhaddith. He might. Uh, he my friend, might. My friend, they did not. Like, they did not say to him. They did not say to him. They said, "Listen, listen. They did, your scholars, your Muslims, your the, they did not say he do not know Hadith. They said he's a liar. There's a huge difference between say this guy he do not know Hadith and saying he's a liar. They did not say he do not know Hadith. They accuse him to be a liar. Or want to accuse. This is, this, I think, the simplest thing that to, to accuse someone of lying or anything. Those are your scholars. Any, anyone can do. This is your but, scholar. Uh, you know the okay, issue. Okay, you know before before we finish for today, Mister. Uh, uh, is does the Quran say anywhere that the Quran is the fabrication of Muhammad? The Quran did not say that the fabrication. Okay. okay. Does it say Imam Muhammad himself, if himself, if uh, if he fabricated the Quran, he will be punished by what? By what? Now, like, uh, I I write something and I attribute it. Okay. What will happen? What, what, what will happen? Something to him? like this. What will happen? What, what will happen? What will happen people, to him? All people hmm. with this uh, this work, and hmm. I attribute this work. To uh, someone else, how? Okay, how, how? What happened to Muhammad? How? How he will be punished if he is lying according to the Quran? Is it true that Allah He says, if you lie, if you fabricate Quran, I will cut your orta? Is that true? Does it say that in the Quran? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how Muhammad died? Do you know? He, he died normally. Not true. Normally. Not true. Read with me the hadith. Here we go. Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih hadith. The prophet in his element of death, which he died, used to say, Oh, Aisha, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel as if my orta is being cut off from that poison. So your prophet saying in the Quran that Allah said, if I am fabricating Quran, lying, inventing Quran, Allah will cut my orta and Muhammad die by the same punishment he claimed. Allah, he will punish him. How you answer that? No, this is uh, not uh, feeling to feel cutting your, your orta or something like this. My friend, it's, it's in front uh, of you. I think it's in the front no, of you. Normal, normal thing. For it's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. Why he is yes, lying? Sir, are you saying? Are you saying your prophet is wrong? Are you saying your prophet is wrong? Say it. No, he's wrong. So no, he will. No, okay. Your prophet is saying about himself. How will you know that he's wrong? He is saying, "I feel it as if my orta is being cut off from that poison." And you know that the prophet he never say even about medicine unless it is inspiration from Allah. That's why he told the people. There's a guy who came to him. He said to him, eat honey. The guy, he told his brother to eat honey. He came back after two days and he told him, my brother is getting sick. He came back again. The prophet said to him, I told you, tell him to eat honey. He said he did. He said, go back and tell him to eat honey. So he went. He came back again. The prophet, he screamed at him. He said, tell him to eat honey three times, four times. And then the, the finally the prophet, he got angry. He said to him, your, your brother Billy is lying and Allah told the truth. So Muhammad, he claimed, even if he speak about what is inside your belly as illness is coming from Allah So how he knew about what is in the belly of somebody else, but now he will be wrong about what is in his belly This is his belly and this is his body and he is okay, the one who feels it. He says that because uh, uh, Allah says in the Quran that uh, about the honey 
ذا ذيس ذيس يخرج من بطونها شراب م. مختلف الوانه فيه شفاء شو؟ ذيس اوكي واي واي محمد ديد نوت ريكفر هيم سيلف؟ واي محمد ديد نوت تيك هاني؟ اوكي اوكي واي الله ديد نوت جيف هيم ميديسين تو ريكفر هيم فروم بي فروم داين فروم بويزن از يو سي Why Allah? Why Allah? He saved Jesus, but he didn't want to save Muhammad. Muhammad is dying by poison, suffering, and he is really dying badly. Four years suffering from poison, and he is saying that. And he used to repeat, as you see, the Prophet used to say, used to say, which means always, oh, 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 Aisha, oh, my belly, my stomach, my heart, oh, my chest, uh, the poison I ate is cutting my aorta. Oh, and Allah did nothing. Why he? Why Allah? He saved Jesus, but he didn't want to save Muhammad. The Quran says why. If Muhammad is inventing Quran, I will grab him from his arm and I will cut his orta. And this is exactly what happened. How you explain that? This, yeah, this is exactly what happened. How, how, if he really he invented, how someone write about himself something like this? Because he never thought this would well, happen. He, he never write, thought. He, he, he did not. Like he did he not write. Telling, no, listen, listen. Listen, 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 listen. How many he, liars? How many? Yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. Liars, else. liars. They say things they thought they never, they never speak. will happen. Let us say there's a guy. He's a thief. He say, "May God cut me pieces if I'm lying," and then he got cut pieces. But he do not know it's going to happen. This is what happened to Muhammad. So he said, "If I am lying and claim that his God is saying that, okay, then." Then you, I, I, okay. Say, then, 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 then Muhammad, Muhammad, I will go with you. I will go with you. Allah said, if he is lying, I will cut his orta. And then Muhammad, his orta is cut off. Is Allah stupid? Don't he knew that he should not say that because this is will make Muhammad a liar. So why? So why he said that? Not cut off. So what? It says that. It says uh, let, read, 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 read with me, uh, Muhammad. Read with me. I'm the one. This is not my translation. This is not my translation. It says, I feel the the pain caused by the by the by the food I ate at Khaybar, and at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off. This is exactly what is written in the Quran. If he is fabricating Quran. We will cut off his order exactly. So, Muhammad he got himself busted. He fabricated a lie saying, Allah told me if I am lying, I am going to my order will cut off and he will punish, he will punish me. But Muhammad never thought this will happen. And I believe the true God, not Allah, he made that happen to prove to us that Muhammad is a false man. Otherwise, explain to me how Allah he let this happen to his prophet. But yet his prophet did not fabricate Quran. Are we allowed this to happen if Allah is a true God? And you are the one who quote the verse for me. Chapter 69, verse number 46. Thank you very much. So the Quran confirmed that if Muhammad is a liar, Allah himself will punish him with no mercy and he will cut his orta. And this is exactly what happened to Muhammad. What do you want more? No, no, exactly. Not this. Not happen. This is what happened so, to him, Prophet Muhammad. He said, uh, "Cutting my artery." Prophet, uh, <laughs> right, uh, no, okay. no, no. As if, as if, as if. Uh, I think. Uh, what as if? What as if? What are you talking about? There's if no as if. The as guy if. he died. The guy he died. What as if? The guy if he died from this. Did Muhammad? Listen, listen. Did Muhammad die? Muhammad, Muhammad. Did did your Muhammad die because of this or no? He died. So what as, as if? So the Quran, and you are the one who quote for me the died. verse. Yeah, he died. Okay, he died from what? Died. He died from what? How? He said, as, as is cutting my order. So, 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 uh, so, so cut, what order mean? What, oh, what, 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 uh, what, what order mean? It's mean he cut, he cut his life. He cut his life. He cut his life, and he cut his artery. He cut his artery, and Muhammad is confirming that this is what happened to him. This is how I die. So your prophet, he cut himself busted. He fabricated the lie. It's called the Quran. In that lie, he said, "If I am lying, Allah will cut my artery." And then we find out that Muhammad, his artery is cut off. Okay, thank you, thank you, Christian Prince. Uh, okay. Till now, now uh, the time of Salah for Fajr. I am going to prepare. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't, you. don't be late because so, Allah, Allah, Allah will miss the prayer, you know, and Allah he he have a bus station. <laughs> <laughs>
no, 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 Allah, Allah, yeah. Allah is uh, the creator. Creator of what, the... my friend? What a creator. Your God, Allah, your God, Allah, he created Adam a Friday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> and Adam, he said to him, Allah, finish me before the sun set. Your God was late. <laughs> okay, no, no, next time we are talking, uh, we're going to talk about this, uh, Allah, you know. No problem. Just no problem. Uh, two days, I am searching, uh, searching there. I found that uh, this uh, term, Allah is uh, a Syriac, a Syriac term. Mm. And uh, I found it in one one file, I think. I don't remember its name, mm. but uh, I will see and next time we will discuss this issue, inshallah. Yeah, Allah is the one who created the long penis the Muslims will have in the heaven. That's the proof that Allah is God. Otherwise, there is no proof. <laughs> And uh, you know, uh, Muhammad, I want I want you next time to call me, uh, as long as you are talking about Allah the Creator, to explain to me how Allah He says that the women she have a sperm coming from the backbone, sorry, from the from the ribs, and the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Obviously, He is the true Creator. Allah He do not know something is called bows or testicles. He never heard of it. Backbone and ribs. This is your God. No, no, no. no. This, uh, this is not true. That uh, regarding to both a woman or. Not true. Okay, next time call me and we will see if it's true or not. And people will laugh. All right, okay. Muhammad. All right, no problem. Yes. Thank you, my friend, for calling and good, good to have you with us tonight.